Welcome back to Studio 25. So this weekend I'm up to here, got loads of stuff going on, I'm helping people move house. Since I got this bus, I've basically moved motorbikes, moved mobility scooters, helped them move a, a washing machine and a cooker and a tumble dryer and all sorts of stuff. I'm now helping a family friend move house, loads of stuff going on. The, the worst thing about having a van is all of a sudden everybody needs to help move stuff. So the quicker I get this converted the better and I can stop all the homers if you like because it's doing my nothing. So today I was going to be going to B&Q this afternoon, get some timber to start the build. I've helped this family friend here move house like I say and across the road from their cottage is a timber yard if you could just pan over there. So I thought, I mean this is, this is good. So I went in. I had a chat with the guy, really nice guy, sold me some timber, um, a lot cheaper than I would have got if I'd gone to a normal place like B&Q, like I intended to. So, yeah, the plan is, get this van emptied, but it's piled up, not to the roof, because I didn't want anything piled up next to the windows, so I've got it piled up to sort of the window sill area, um, get this emptied, and then hopefully this weekend I can start the build, um, and I'll measure up and cut the wood and make the frame for the kitchen anyway. Okay, thanks for now. Right, so as you know, I uh, spoke to you yesterday. It was such a busy day. This is now the next day. So I've had a look at my deliveries. I'm going to put a, a little photo in here for you. Uh, to let you see the big bundle that's sitting in my living room. Um, it's right in the way. So now I've got no excuse. I need to start this build today. So I've actually picked up. I've got another delivery. I believe this is my my. Sure flow water pump in that packet. Um, it's absolutely roasting in here today. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unpackage my thermal blinds, put them around the front, see if I can keep some of the heat out because obviously the back end's tinted. Um, it's so hot inside the van. I'm going to be working in here, so I'll get the thermals up and see how that goes. So I'll do that first, and then I'll come back to you guys. That's the thermal blinds up. It actually took just two seconds. I could have just kept it on film there. Um, so I'll let you see what it looks like from the inside. Obviously, I could tuck it up a wee bit under these uh, sun visors there, but yeah, it's actually pretty good. Um, I'll take you outside. I'll just jump out the back door here. Um, let's see it from the front. Uh, so there we go. I think it looks okay. Uh, so yeah, I opted for the internal ones this time because my last van I had the fuel looking wrap around uh, screen cover um, and. You know what, it worked well, it, worked, it, took, it covered all the light, um, but the problem with it was, uh, when it started raining, uh, you get up in the morning, you're putting it away wet, and I thought no, I'd rather have ones that were inside, eh, and uh, then it's going to be dry. Right, so, so the plan today is start off on the kitchen, um, see if we can get enough light on this camera, I'm, I'm looking awful dark here. Right, so what I want to do is, I'll be sitting on this th three seater that I'll keep an in. I want to be able to open the fridge from here um, so that when the bed's folded out you can still get up, get the milk out of the fridge, make a cup of coffee, that's the plan. So next step is unbox, well I've actually unboxed the fridge, it's in the living room. But I'll take the fridge down to the van, measure everything up, I'm going to unbox the microwave, make sure I can build a shelf for that um, and still leave room for the gas, for the cooker and whatnot. So I think it's a lot of measuring and guesswork today so yeah we'll just do it bit by bit, um, quite a big project, so yeah, uh, I'll measure everything up and see that it's going to fit first and we'll take it from there. Right, so, it's been a bit of a hassle, I've been unpackaging things, so there's the idea for the fridge, you're facing the seats, and just reach into the fridge, uh, it means you can also gain access to the fridge whilst the bed's made up. Uh, so I've just laid out the gas and the water, they'll be underneath the cooker, obviously the cooker you not be up here, but uh, microwave will not be down that low, I was just checking for space. Uh, so I've got in my head kind of an idea what I'm doing, so where the microwave is, up at the back there, I'll have raised inside the kitchen unit, and underneath there'll be a cupboard with access from the rear or access from the front. I'll have two doors gaining access to that corner cupboard. Um, I've not actually decided what I'm doing with the rest of the unit. I'm going to have to check how much space I need for the cooker and sink. Uh, but so far, the layout seems to be coming together quite nicely. Um, I've just laid that bit of wood down there to show where the kitchen unit will come up to and just to check that I've got the room there. 
So yeah, I need to start making a plan of how I'm going to fit this all in. Um, with this van, I want to have a, a cutlery drawer, so I have to get some drawer runners and decide how I'm going to build that. So the plan has come together. Um, I'm going to just end this video here just now. Uh, I'm going to make another one of the actual build of the unit. This has just been a kind of planning and trying to get what's in my head. Sort of check it on the floor, make sure everything's going to fit. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to try and get some wood put together, um, bring it in here. I'm going to use three ply for the shelves um, and then I'm going to buy a nice piece of worktop. I've not got that yet. I've got some three ply and whatnot. So yeah, uh, next video is basically going to be me putting this together. I'll keep filming, um, uh, so I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.